everybody, John D. from John D. TV here. We're on day 86 of our house follow. And one thing I'd like to note, we're in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic right now. And um, unfortunately, my friend and coworker, Joe, who does our filming, um, he is working from home right now. And so I'm my own cameraman. As you can see, the camera's on the floor and I'm over here. So. Um, we're not going to have any fancy filming going on today. I'm in full control, which is kind of scary of the camera. So um, I wanted to talk about today our HVAC final has been completed. So they have everything finalized on the furnace. This home actually gets two furnaces, um, which is a little bit unusual. So um, that's why I'm blocking one of them, as I can easily do here. And so we have the furnace in. All the furnaces now are high efficiency and have these two pipes. You can see one is to bring in fresh air and one is to exhaust the air out. Okay, so it goes directly outside. It's not pulling air from the room. There's always going to be a switch on the, sh uh, the side of it, a power switch that you can turn off and on. And also we have a condensate pump. So the pump, when you, when you cool the air in your home during the air conditioning season, um, condensation can form in there. And there's a drain inside the furnace that takes it to that pump, and that pump then pumps over into the sump crock. So you can look up online on how to maintain these sump pumps to clean out the lines. Um, condensate has a tendency to form like a gel inside, which can clog that pump. So it's good at least once a year to clean that area out. I think if you just pour vinegar in there is probably your best way. But they do make uh, solutions that you can buy. So I do recommend that you check that. Also, your filter. I recommend when you first move in that you change your filter at least every month. Um, you have a new home, there's carpet fibers and inherent dust, obviously. We clean the house as best as we can, but we just had a whole building built here. So um, there can be fine dust around for a while. And so for the best performance of your unit, you wanna at least change that every month for the first year. Also remember, <clears throat> if you have a standard air filter or not a specialized air cleaner, um, to avoid buying those solid paper pleated filters. Um, use the same type filter that's in your furnace when you move in. Some of these aftermarket filters actually put a strain on the fan motor and can decrease the life of your furnace. So keep that in mind. Also, they wrapped up all the gas lines. Um, they have their manifold for the gas lines and all the shutoff valves and everything is labeled. And then they have all their vent covers and return vent covers installed. So our next step is uh, Sam, our superintendent, will do a, a final super walk just for some fine-tuned details. And then our assistant super, Mike, will come in, fine-tune those areas, and we'll be ready for orientation. So I appreciate you guys tuning in today and being patient for our, with our setup that we have. And I hope you have a great day.